It's a lovely Saturday morning and you're welcome to Campus 360. Once a week, we update you on happenings on your campus. I am Diana Nichigan. Ahead in this bulletin, the 2021 National Science and Math Quiz finalist from the Keta Senior High School appeal to the general public to support their school. We'll be very glad if we we'll get a science center of excellence which will be well equipped with all that the students, that's our genius, we need to participate. Mm -hmm. Some students share with Campus 360 how beneficial the Joy Learning Channel has been to them. Joy Learning has helped us a lot in solving math questions, answering science essay questions, especially the past questions. And in our News and Focus segment, organizers of the National Science and Math Quiz Primetime have over the years used only female moderators for the competition. We find out why. Yes, we went for women because the philosophy behind the, the, the National Science and Math Quiz is, is, is representation. The details now. The Presbyterian Boys Secondary School held their 83rd Speech and Prize Giving Day. Founded in the year 1938, the SEC is a prestigious all-male academic institution that has over the years produced great men and have achieved great feats. The event was under the theme, Creating Fertile Grounds for Sustainable Educational Development, the role of the stakeholder. In his speech, head boy Obed Atakwa Ajaku highlighted some achievements from the school. A competition meant for university students we rose through the ranks and placed second to the glory of God. Presep was again glorified on the international stage in the Royalties Open Debate Championships, where two of our very own, Andrew Carter, placed fourth as the best speaker internationally, and Matthew Redu Ejapon also received an award for being the most promising speaker. The orators also emerged as the first runners up in the Interschool Public Speaking Challenge. These feats have indeed lifted high the image of the school. A group of excellent geography students made us proud by placing first in the National Geography Quiz Competition. These achievements make it their fourth win in a row. Presec also took the first and third positions in the UBA National Essay Competition and placed second in the fourth edition of the Sharks Quiz Competition. Our treasured Bella boys kept the fire burning as they ensured we maintained our position as the regional best in the National Science and Math Quiz. The brilliant Bella boys of the Oakland journeyed out of their homeland to battle in the finals of the National SARS Science and Math Quiz. Irrespective of the outcome, we are still serving a living God. And as has already been said, Presec is perpetually victorious. We did not lose, we won, and they also won. Additionally, we acknowledge the outgoing Student Representative Council for coming out with a student's magazine. After a 13-year period of drought, the editorial board of the SRC was able to bring this to fusion. We salute them for their wonderful achievement. It is said in our local adage that Onipai Adia Osayi. Now let's go to the Tema Senior High School, where the headmaster, Emmanuel Kobna Baby, says the school has produced many great men and women. Hence, he is calling for support to enhance teaching and learning. He made his statement when the school marked its 60th anniversary. There's more in the following report. The Tema Senior High School organized its 60th anniversary with an outstanding speech and prize giving day. The event which took place within the school's campus was attended by a number of the school's illustrious alumni. The theme of the event was setting the pace to enhance educational experience in the 21st century. Headmaster of the school, Emmanuel Kobina Beidu, called for more support from the alumni and also encouraged parents to support the school. Formerly, we had a lot of support from parents, but we all know because of this new norm, our parents are not playing the role they were supposed to play. For instance, Tamasano School has no official bar. Our bus was donated to the school by the parents. But now they don't have that capacity to do that. So motivating the teachers 
has become a bit difficult. But we are motivating them through the tools they would need to perform their duty as teachers. This free SHS concept has its own challenges, though it is one of the best policy that has happened to our educational system. But we will call on stakeholders, the parents, the old students, and all, because the government alone cannot foot everything. So we need support from individual corporate institutions. The 1971-year group also donated to the school a number of polytanks for water storage and also commissioned a chemistry lab. Moving on, finalists of the National Science and Mass Quiz from the Keta Senior High School are calling on the alumni and the general public to support them with an ultra-modern science laboratory. According to them, they practice in a classroom which does not have the right equipment or logistics to facilitate their studies. They spoke on the Super Morning Show. Actually, we do not have a science center of excellence. That's the NSMQ team. We just have some classroom okay. where we do our studies and practice. So we'll be very glad if we get a science center of excellence, which will be well equipped with all that the students, that's our genius, we need to practice mm -hmm. with. For instance, we need some laptops and then tablets so that they can study with them. They can them. study with. Yeah. A generator would be nice so that if the lights go off, um, more textbooks, some Wi-Fi, internet yeah. maybe, yeah. so that you can access everything. So, that so we are looking for the old students, we are looking at having an ultra-modern science um, center of excellence, as Francisca said, and this center would actually have uh, accommodation uh, uh, facilities as well, as well as... Uh, the lavatories as well, so that when they come in there study, and they can rest. They can they rest. Can bath, yeah, you you you'd find out that while they study in the classroom, when it's time to rest, they go to that huge dormitory to, uh, to sleep alone. While their colleagues are on vacation, so when we have the setter um, uh, mainly fitted with all these facilities, it will be easier. And then you also notice that another uh, logistical uh, constraint we have as a school is. Uh, the facility to move them, the vehicle to move them, doing the regional tours, doing the inter-school competitions. Okay. So we need a bus too. We need a bus as well. Okay. Then for a school as well, when we have, when we rather host other schools for competitions like this, where to have that facility becomes a challenge. Okay. So we are uh, looking forward uh, to the, uh, the general public, corporate Ghana, benevolent people to come to our aid. We need an ultra-modern uh, uh, um, assembly hall that can accommodate many of these activities that we yeah. undertake okay. in the school. And with all these things in place, we should be able to uh, bring the travel to the Volta in an S NSMQ. Yeah. Still on NSMQ, the reigning champions of the National Science and Mass Quiz competition, Premper College, say... Winning did not come to them as a surprise because of the hard work they invested in training. They spoke in an interview with our sister station, Lab FM. How confident would you say you were, I mean, the three of you going into the competition, knowing that um, in the finals you were facing uh, six-time champions in Presec and a very formidable side in the Kita Senior High Technical School. How confident were you, you know, of your chances in the finals? Okay, I would say we were very confident, but our confidence has to be, had to be in moderation because you have to be careful not to be overconfident or else pride will set in and we will be complacent. Then you also have to be caref careful not to be underconfident, meaning that we have to have a higher self-esteem, believe in ourselves that we were capable. So that was a little challenge that we were facing because the level of conf uh, confidence in this competition is very important. Mm. But with God's grace, we were able to do that, maintain our composure, and then at the end, we were victors. Mm. Okay, we were actually uh, trained psychologically for this event because one thing about the competition is that if you are afraid, you can't be able to stand in front of the audience. Mm. And that would actually affect your mental ability to work on stage because the fear makes it difficult for you to think. It makes it difficult for you to think through the questions because uh, you have... 10 seconds, 30 seconds to go through these questions. You have focused almost half of your time on the fear. Now you're about to start thinking through the question. But your equally good opponent who is having much higher control over this fear, having higher confidence, would have had a longer time to think through the question. And I saw that that helped us a lot. Now, Joy Learning is Ghana's first educational channel, solely dedicated to educational content. Since it started broadcasting in 2019, the channel has helped many students improve their academic performance. Some students share their experience with joy learning. 
Hello, my name is Leticia Aza. I attend school at Osu Salam 1 Basic. I'm in Form 1. Anytime we close from school, I rush home to go and watch Joy Learning. Because first, I was not good in English, but because of Joy Learning, I'm not good in it. My name is Kesta Setre, and I'm from Osu Salem Presby Boys GHS. And what I can say about Joy Learning TV is, ever since I started watching Joy Learning, I have improved in my English, especially Madam Jackie, the way she used her vocabularies to teach. And I love that so much. My name is Benjamin Jinfi Boatin, and then I attend school at Osu Salem Presby Boys Junior High School. Um, I'm in Form 2. Joy Learning has helped me to improve in my academics, especially social studies. And first, I was having challenges in my uh, social studies subjects, like a topic on relief features. Um, Joy Learning has helped me to improve in that subject. I am Akpi Susan Selom Alonyo Akpi, student of Presec Senior High School. I am in two journal at two. And Joy Learning has helped me so much that some subjects that I didn't understand and some topics I didn't understand in mathematics, especially core mathematics, Joy Learning has helped me to understand it. So I am very grateful to them. Joy Learning has helped us a lot in solving math questions, answering science essay questions, especially the past questions from 1990 to date. And they've also helped us in answering essay questions like myself, how to answer them when it comes, especially the qualified teachers that they took to help us. We are thankful to them. I'm Rosita Farisechi. I'm from the Lincoln Montessori School. I just completed my BC. I used to watch Joy Learning and it helped me really, really. During the Corona season, lockdown, when we came back to school, I watched all the episodes and it really, really helped me in my preparation to the BEC. Ever wondered why the National Science and Math Quiz competition use only quiz mistresses? Let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. <music> 